Hey folks, Rob here. Well, I've been at it again, been doing a little gun swapping, and uh, picked up another new gun for the channel. Now this is not a new gun by any means. Not new at all. Matter of fact, there's probably hundreds and hundreds of thousands of these things made and sold. When I was a young man, these were everywhere. Now, you almost never see one. I mean, you can scour all the pages you want on the places where, you know, you are not supposed to look for these types of things, but they're there, and uh, you can scour all you want, and you almost never see one of these handguns uh, up for sale. So either they've all been thrown away, or they're all in somebody's cabinet somewhere, or under their mattress, or they're, they're tucked back somewhere because they just don't get rid of them. And what I'm talking about is the old school Ruger. This is the old school Ruger P90. And I picked this up in a trade. I actually came on into a Glock 43, uh, just the standard 43. And I traded that for this and I thought, man, I done awesome. I would I would trade two 43s for this because this is this was an awesome handgun. This is the Ruger P90. This particular one was made in 2005. I traced the serial number back, but this is the P90 DC. So basically, this is the decocker model. You know, uh, you can carry it hammer down when you rack one in the slide. And this gun is unloaded, guys. There's no rounds in it. I actually don't even have any 45 ammunition here to put in it. Uh, I have to uh, get that, but it is clear. There's nothing in it. So this one, you would basically decock after you loaded the chamber. Now, let me tell you about this gun. When I bought this, traded for this gun and got it home, it I don't believe this gun had seen a drop of oil in probably several years. It was so dry it had no oil whatsoever on the gun, none. When I would pull back the slide and let it go, it would it would slip, it would catch. It was so it was so lack of lubrication that it would it would just it just wouldn't it didn't want to work. <laughs> you know, it had no oil whatsoever on it. You, the magazine release didn't want to release. It's uh, you know the trigger was like crazy. This gun had zero oil on it. Every drop of oil that had been on this gun at any one point was gone. And uh, so the first thing I done was take it apart and lube it up good. And, you know, and now she's as slick as a whistle. The trigger is good. Guys, this is a double single action, so Let's decock it. That first pull is a long, heavy pull. It's hard to do with your thumb. But it's not heavy. It's not super heavy, but it's smooth as butter. You get back there, and you get the break. So, heavy first pull. And then, of course, your second shot is single action. So, you do your single action. You got that creep. You take it up to the wall, and you got a little creep, and it breaks. Reset on it for a gun of this time is not terrible. You come out to there and it resets. You, once you reset, it, it you pull back just a hair, but it's right there at that wall again, and that's it. If I had my trigger pull gauge, we'd test it. But uh, like I said, you got that little bit of take up, a little bit of just a tad bit of creep, and she breaks. And it's not a bad, and this double action is not not terrible. Uh, you know these have these are aluminum frame, stainless steel. You know uh, Ruger uh, made these. This is like I said, this is a 2005 model, so it's 24, 15, 19 years old. So this gun is only 19 years old, which I thought they had quit making them sooner than that, but. Uh, I don't know what year they finally stopped, but this is a 2005. It's in great shape. It's not all 
beat up, banged up. It's, it's, I don't think it's ever been shot much because it had no lubrication on it. Uh, but great pickup, great find. Eight round magazine. This, uh, some of the first ones come out had seven rounds. And I learned that the, uh, the magazine for, for the, uh, what was it they made the 345 or the polymer i think it was a polymer framed uh, 45 based kind of on this uh took an eight round and and some of the later ones of these to ship also had eight rounds so you got an eight round uh magazine all stainless and uh just a classic old gun uh three dot sights don't know if you can see those i'm not pointing it at myself uh, I'm pointing it. It's unloaded anyway, but you got three dot sights. Uh, they're they're pretty well. They're pretty well. They need retouching. Uh, but just a great gun, classic old gun that you just don't see anymore. And guys, when I had one, I remember when uh, the. Uh, Oh, I think it was a P95 came out. It was a polymer framed uh, version of the P89 or P9, whatever. It was a polymer frame, the first polymer frame when they come out with. That was about the same time that Glock came around to these parts. And our old buddy John, of course, he had a Glock. And I had the Ruger, the P P95, I think it was. Uh or P93, I don't, I don't remember what the number was, but anyway, uh, we would go down to the range, and we would dig through the gravels down there, and we would try to find 9 millimeter ammunition laying on the ground that was buried in dirt and whatever, and pick up, we'd pick up every round we could find and see if we could shoot them through the guns. And if they were able to be fired, the guns would fire them. So, you know, the the p95 whatever i had was as reliable as the glock was then i mean but you know you know they'll be there's people to say oh that can't be but it was it would fire any kind of dirting if it would fire at all if it wouldn't fire in one we'd put it in the other and then try to fire it in it and if it wouldn't fire in one it never fired in the other so anyway but just great guns and you don't see them anymore it's a shame. You'd think uh, Ruger could uh, come out with a redesign on this and slim it down. And, you know, that's manufacturing's come so far. Anyway, guys, I'm rambling on again. So, anyway, I look at the Ruger P90DC and 45 ACP, double action, single action, decocker. Great gun historic gun that uh, Bill Ruger was a genius when it come to this investment casting stuff and paved the way for a, a lot of guns anyway guys appreciate you watching and until the next video we'll see you guys later